Today I am going to explain an Indian blockbuster romance drama movie called Sanam Terry Kasim. Sit back and enjoy. This story begins with a lawyer winning a case who arrives back at home and meets his rich father. He takes a bottle of champagne and walks outside. There he sees a tree in which a specific name along with years were mentioned. We are moved to another scene where the same man comes out of an apartment and try to feed the hungry cat. Suddenly, a sound is heard by him. It was a nerdy girl doing her daily ritual at her apartment. This Jai Ram, a strict Indian father who believe in discipline as his first method of teaching, whether it is his family or a stranger. She asks him if they can buy some instant food for the guests who are coming to see their daughter for arranged marriage. He says, that kind of food will enter the house only after his death. While, this man is called Indair and he was my modern man and live by his own rules. Jai gets the call from the guests and reveals to everyone that boy along with his parents is not coming anymore. Right away, her younger sister accuse her of not marrying a man so that she can as well. This is a ritual most Indians follow. Jai was on his way when he sees the man and a woman kissing each other with passion and begin shouting at him because he did not like the act. Outside, People reveals the guy is a criminal since he was a teen, but they could not stop him for some reason. They also know how his father is a big businessman. Jai also shout at them angrily before leaving in a cab along with his daughter. We see her working in a library where a man reveals her name as Saraswati. He thank her for the advice on market trends and helping him benefit from it. Once again, he asks for another favor and ask her if she could work as a dancing bear at his office party and she hesitantly agrees to it. It seems like she was very naive and barely says no to anyone. After working really hard as a bear, she was on her way to go back, where the Indair struck her way inside a lift. It was pretty hot outside, so he began to take off his shirt, which Saraswati could not handle and shout at him to stop. He also helped her out to take off the bear suit, but it was stuck and he accidentally opens it a too much, hence embarrassing her and she flee from the spot. The man gives her the bear head back and asks her to recommend him a book for someone who had been to jail for a long time and she gives him the book hesitantly and he also gives it back to her. Later on, we can see his girlfriend leaving him and shouting at him. At the dinner time, Saraswati gets to know her father has talked to some man to meet her and hopefully marry her while her parents will be out of town for a day or two. She and the boy meet up with each other, but Saraswati was not feeling it. She goes back to give their phone back, but hears them insulting about her, who calls her uglier than their own girlfriend. Indair also notices this on his way back. Her sister, Kaveri started to cry because the man said no to her as well, due to some reason. She goes back in the library and picks up a magazine and proceeds to call someone for appointment, but the waiting was too long and only way was to get recommended by someone. She noticed the criminal guy outside again. One night, she sees her sister trying to persuade Sanjay, her boyfriend, who was barely talking to her. Later, Saraswati comes downstairs and hesitantly asks the man if she can come inside his apartment. Before the talk, he wanted to finish his exercise. She was looking for a favor, she wanted his girlfriend to do her makeover, since she was famous the one of the best at the moment. Suddenly, his ex-girlfriend arrives and sees Saraswati, which was enough for her to get triggered. Ruby's anger made Saraswati cry, while Indair wanted her ex to apologize to her, but she did not want to, and threw a bottle at her, but man saves her while taking all the harm from the broken bottle. They go away to a nearby medicine store, but the society guard calls the local police. At the store, police arrives there and shout at the man and tell him along with girl to sit in the police vehicle. But the girl apologized to him and beg him to let them go. For some reason, he agrees and they walk to the hospital. The policeman released them because her words reminded him of his late wife. The guard did not stop here and can be seen still talking to someone on the phone about both of them. Later Saraswati's parents arrive back at the society where all the people reveal about the acts of their daughter. All the men along with her father arrive at the apartment and sees them on the bed and misunderstand the act. This really shocked her father and right there he ends all the connections with her daughter from that day on. She goes back to her office while crying and guilty. In the bus, she gets a call from her mother and reveals reveals everything to her. Even after all this, Saraswati was finally happy for her sister Kaveri since she will get married before she could. She is at her office and gets to know she cannot even get the appointment for whatever job she was trying. Later on, she could not find a room to live in, so the same man comes and gives her the keys to a new apartment. They come inside an old building and sees an empty room and finally, she was relieved after seeing it. He later go out with her to buy vegetables and other essential things. She ends up drinking a glass of bang, an Indian drink with a harmless but intoxicating substance in it. 
there she started to act very weirdly and out of control, where the man was taking care of her. He later takes her to the library and asks if she herself did anything weird when she was intoxicated, to which he says she did romance. He goes away to buy a beer for himself, while Saraswati sees someone dropping the wallet, which gets picked up by a beggar. After checking the wallet, man runs away in sheer anger as if he has seen something bad inside the wallet. When she tried to talk to Indair, he pushes her away from himself, which was encountered by the businessman, whose wallet she returned earlier. Indair was very angry at himself and felt frustrated. He comes to Saru's apartment, but she wasn't there and even tried different places, but she was nowhere to be seen. Finally, he finds Saru sitting on a bus station, who was crying all alone. He calls himself a beast and says sorry, to which the girl hugs him, which was also seen by her father. She finally gets to know that he hate his father for some reason, who she met earlier. He ends up asking her if there was a solution for her problem, which was only to marry a guy who was well settled. But she also thinks she looks ugly and no one wants to marry her. Indar takes her to a sketchy place, to a guy who gives her a big makeover and totally changes her appearance. He thinks her family would be happy to see her like this, so he himself take her to them. She was very nervous about this, but anyway decide to go on. Upon reaching the apartment, she sees a ritual happening, in which she was considered dead. This was a shocking moment for her and she could not feel more devastated. Seeing this brutality of her father, even the guy was shocked. She reveals she is not a loser and decide to continue her life and maybe marry someone one day. She expects when she will come back to the house where her father will hug her seeing her married. She goes back to her office, but this time she was wearing different clothes with a new makeover while getting noticed by everyone. Her friend comes by and asks her for the reason of makeover and she reveals she had found someone. Indair also noticed the man acting strangely and asking for Saru time to time. He reveals about the guy who was looking for her and asked if he was bothering her. He keep an insisting on the reason for avoiding him, but she did not reveal the reason. He also reveals he made a list of all the guys who were well settled in their life and were ready to marry. So next week they will come see her for arranged marriage. The guy called up him and you ask her out to go on a date with her. He reveals how he liked her makeover and new self. He finally asks her out to marry him. Suddenly a call comes from Indair, but nothing is revealed about her answer for the proposal yet. Later she meets meets Indair, who takes her to meet a guy, but she reveals how Abhimanyu asked her out for marriage. Both of them celebrates, while Indair was suffering seeing all this as if his heart was breaking day by day. One day, she reveals how she was going to Turkey soon with Abhimanyu, but Indair was not happy about it. She gives him her wedding card. He start to drink a lot seeing the wedding card and follows a local bus in which Saru's father was sitting and he try to persuade him to take the card but his ego was too big to accept it. Finally, it was the day of the court marriage, where Saru waits for him, but he was nowhere to be found. Everyone including the lawyer was looking at her, but there was no hope. Indair did not know what to do at this point, where the lawyer tell them to leave the premises. She find Abhimanyu at his apartment, she tells this to Indair and want him to punch Abhimanyu, but he stops her instead. Even his father comes out from the apartment and reveals he know everything about her and her family, and closes the door on her face. Saru was mad at Indair for not punching him, and tells how Abhimanyu never deserved any of her time. We can see them in the honeymoon suite, which was booked for the marriage and there she started to kiss him as if she was really desperate. They finally has become one that day and Saru can be seen with Abhimanyu again the next, who was hugging her and takes her somewhere. Indair also gets a text from her about the incident and goes back to his apartment devastated. He was packing his bags and everything and he was ready to move out of there. Suddenly, Saru's mother arrives and sees her picture beside himself and figure things out. Indair finally says he will leave the town for good and takes the card of her sister's wedding to her office, but she was not there. Abhimanyu comes to meet Indair and tells how he broke up with her since their last meeting. There was no clue of Saru and Indair himself was looking for her desperately and finally finds her sitting on a spot. She was angry at him because he let her go, but she did not trust him anymore and was really upset. He reminds her of the night they spend, but she tells him how it was just a moment to relieve her stress. She could not resist herself from hugging him and faints down in his arms. He finds out that she has brain tumor and is taken to a hospital. Doctor tells him that her fiancé already knew about this. He finally comes back to a him and you and punch him badly, where he reveals how he got to know about her brain tumor after he broke up with her. He tried to ask her to marry him, but she denied him and you. She also gave him vow to never tell about her condition, to Indair. Later we can see him taking a look at her phone photos and finds out how desperate and eager she was for marriage. Later on, she wakes up and sees
see Indair and walks away with him. Indair takes her into a very dirty room and turns on all the lights. He does a lot of things to make her happy while also drinking. Indair shows her father's videos as well, hence making her even happier. It was clear she really loved her father. Indair does not wait and proposes her for marriage, but she deny him even though he was insisting her a lot. After some emotional talk, she was once again inside the hospital, while Indair himself was drunk and start to make an act. In front of her father, he tell him to stop this nonsense and walks away after getting slapped by him. He wakes up at the top of a building, where a policeman arrives there as well, and takes him to the police station upon getting all the complaints from people. Meanwhile, Saru gets discharged and waits for him outside the hospital, but police was stopping him from going anywhere. This gets the best of him and he runs away from the police station. While, she was missing Indare with her whole heart and crying thinking of him. She even tried to call Indare, but his phone was not with him. He was trying his best to escape from the cops, even fights with a couple of them, but he is finally able to escape when the main policeman himself gives him an opportunity to run away. The policeman gives him about 10 minutes. Indare goes into the library and meets Saru, while being handcuffed, and there she reveals that she also want to marry him. The policeman arrives there, and watch Indare and her hugging each other, so he lets him go. This was like a gift from the cops. While sitting, she tell him to not mourn when she will go away from this world. Later, he comes back to Jai's house to tell him he was going to marry his daughter. He also mentions that he can take anyone's life for her happiness, and he can also take his own life too, if needed. Mother also comes to stop all the nonsense. The next day, both of them were going to be married in court in the presence of the policeman. They do all the rituals and accepted all the vows one by one. But he takes her out of the court when it was the time to accept the vow in which he had to accept that he respect his father and they decide to marry without the vows. Suddenly, the father comes, where she hugs her father and beg him to let this marriage happen. He asks what if he says no, to which she leaves in Dare's hand. Her father reveals how he threatened him yesterday night, but his father came out positive about his decision and let them get married. Everything goes very well and finally they were a married couple. Upon signing the contract, she started to feel a bit dizzy and faints away on the spot. Her father along with her mother were really devastated upon seeing her like this. All of them get to know that she does not have too long to live, which almost took their breath away. He goes back to his father's big mansion and asks for just a small place at their backyard, but his father accused him of taking someone's life because he saw the blood stains on his shirt and he flee from there. He comes back to his wife and reveals about his past on how his father refused to fight for his case, even though being the biggest criminal lawyer in the whole country, and that is why he keeps his distance away from him. She suggests and dare to forgive his father, but he did not want to. She she tells him to come closer to her and tells him to say goodbye. Both of them were crying, and she tells him she loves him a lot, and she leaves the world in front of his eyes. Her family was devastated, and he walks away from the spot as he was in a big shock. His father also arrives to the hospital, where Indare reveals about his wife's death and this makes him very devastated. He finally hugs him while telling the same words Saru said to him. We are moved to the scene, where Indare is now a famous lawyer and narrates how much he miss her a lot every day and the movie ends here. Make sure to like and subscribe and recaps for more videos like this. Have a great day ahead.